when I was in third grade, 10 years old, I decided I was going to be an artist, and I never let go of that. My older sisters were taking these Saturday painting classes, and I went, got to go to one class, and that was when I knew I wanted to be an artist. In my life as an artist, this woman, her name was Natalie Baker, mm -hmm. she had a major influence on me, as well as some of the art teachers I had in the public high school I went to. That and uh, growing up in the suburbs of New York City, we'd go to the museums in New York, going to the Met, the Modern, that's what I remember the most. I mean, to me they're in there, but I don't know that it's something that's visible through the work. It's more internal. It's like I'm the only one that can see it in some ways. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, I would say I've always been uh, politically aware and somewhat politically active, even as a kid. You know, even in high school, I you know did some like campaign work and stuff like that as a volunteer. And in my 40 years in Philadelphia, you know, I've done some campaign work, as well as volunteered at organizations like Planned Parenthood and Action Aids. So my community work, but it's gotten more focused to my, the direct community I live in here in Philadelphia, Callahill neighborhood, and the Reading Viaduct Project, now known as the Rail Park, um, is something I've been deeply involved with for about 12 years, and has totally, so my community work, which takes me out of the solitary life of the studio, those two things have become totally intertwined because my work is autobiographical. So it's great to be able to get out of the studio and get out of that solitary space and, be, and work with people out in the community and then to bring that energy and the things I learned from that back into the studio and into the work.